nature of the bond bond between carbon and halogen okay so carbon and halogen how this bond is okay so we will talk about the strength okay that is the bond enthalpy and the length in picometers okay okay so if the halo substituent is fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine what happens to the strength and what happens to the bond length okay so all these all these uh, are uh, having the same halogen substitution but only the halogen substitute halogen size okay the halo size increases so as a result of increasing in a uh, halide size uh, the bond strength uh, decreases and the bond length increases okay so with that you can conclude that cf bond will be stronger okay and it will be shorter ci bond will be lengthier but it is weaker okay so comparatively with all the halogens okay so the values and readings are given in a table and uh, you need to get to the values okay so the next part is the preparation of alkyl halides how alkyl halides can be prepared so alkyl halides okay this is how it is generally uh, depicted okay so alkyl halides can be prepared from alcohols this is the best method okay so three choices are given you can opt with any one of the possibilities okay one is using halogen acids like hcl okay hbr hi etc okay so this is one poss uh, possibilities or with phosphorus trihalides or phosphorus pentahalides this is one poss possibility another one is using thionyl chloride so these are the uh, methods to prepare alkyl halides from alcohols okay so this is the Uh, best method and easiest method also the reactions are uh, listed okay so it's given like an exercise questions also out of this the method which uses thionyl chloride is the better one because the by products the other products apart from your alkyl halides will be like gases so it is easy to separate the main product it is easily obtained okay so with the other two uh, reagents uh, you need to separate it okay that will be like another step okay yeah so this is one method when it comes to preparation of alkyl halides alkyl halides can be directly prepared by means of uh, halogenation simple halogenation reactions are studied uh, it's there in your uh, lower class like uh, uh, you are taking an alkyl chain and you are uh, uh, using an uh, halogen under uv light or in sunlight okay at different temperatures okay so that will give you alkyl halides okay so this is one simple preparation method and electrophilic substitution reactions are also there like uh, you you take uh, one uh, serine compound okay so toluene okay you are doing uh, halogenation in the presence uh, in the presence of some uh, catalyst and the dark condition okay you will get aryl halides the reason behind they getting two different product is that uh, methyl group is ortho and para directing groups and uh, one of the isomer will be obtained uh, more in uh, ratio okay so these uh, three methods are listed okay so direct halogenation under light or heat uh, okay or uh, in the under dark conditions you can do halogenation and you can get a uh, alkyl halides and aryl halides more preparatory methods are given okay so now uh, we are going to see how to get uh, an alkyl halide
from amine okay so this is amino group and this compound is aniline okay we are going to convert aniline into alkyl halide okay so the reaction conditions are okay so we will be taking sodium nitrite uh, along with uh, any allergen allied okay uh, at a temperature of 273 kelvin that is 0 degree celsius to 5 degree celsius 278 kelvin okay so we have, we are, i have done uh, this reactions in my uh, college studies okay so this uh, is a simple uh, preparation method okay using sodium uh, nitrate and uh, an allergen allied okay so allergen allies can be used okay different allergen allies okay uh, when it comes to um, iodine it is different for chlorine and bromine it is uh, common okay so here we will get a special intermediate okay so before you could get the product you will get an intermediate that intermediate is also very important in it and this particular reaction is name reaction okay so name reaction i'm going to say more about the intermediate and the name of the reaction this reaction is called sanmier reaction sanmier reaction okay so this will lead to an intermediate in use of sodium nitrate and uh, halogen hydrogen halides okay at 273 kelvin okay so that intermediate will be like uh, Okay, so this will be like uh, mm, we can simply put it like uh, N2. This is diazonium chloride. This is an important intermediate. We are going to get more uh, like this. Okay, after. Uh, one more step, you will get the alkyl halix. Okay, so this is what Sammy reaction, the preparation of an al aryl halide from uh, am am amines. Okay, so that is Sammy reaction. So in your 11th standard, you would have studied uh, different uh, types of reactions. Now we are going to uh, go deep into these different types of reaction. Okay, and uh, one more preparatory method is like a preparation of alkyl halides from alkenes. Okay, so when alkyl halides, ali, uh, alkenes are reacted with, uh, first I will take a simple alkene. Okay, yeah. When uh, hydrogen halides are reacted with uh, alkenes, you get uh, alkyl halides. Okay, so with the symmetrical alkenes, this is the case. With the unsymmetrical alkenes, we have already studied this in your 11th standard, and this will be like a different case. Two possibilities are there. Okay, so this is what we call like Markovnikov. And the ha halogen substitution will go to the carbon which is having very less number of hydrogen atoms. So in this case, I have to do the hydrogen atoms. Okay. So in this case, uh, the halogen substitution can go either to this carbon or to this carbon. But it's uh, the product which is we are getting uh, predominant is this carbon. Okay. So halogen substituted in the second carbon. Okay. So this is major and this is minor. Why? Because of Markovnikov rule. The rule says that. The carbon containing less number of hydrogen atoms will be preferred to attach to the uh, allergen. Okay, so if you use a peroxide, if you use a peroxide to this, this particular product is preferred. Only one product will be preferred. That is called anti-Markovnikov rule or Karash effect. Okay, so anti-Markovnikov rule. This is another one. Okay, so uh, uh, the it will go to the terminal carbon. Okay, so allergen substitution will go to the terminal carbon. This is another type of uh, preparation method. Okay, yeah. 
and the more methods i will go with the two or three more methods which are name name naming types okay so we will finish with this okay preparation of alkyl halides by halogen exchanges sodium iodide using sodium iodide when we do this kind of uh, uh, allergen exchange reaction we will get alkyl iodides okay so this is also a particular name reaction it says finkelstein here we are using sodium iodide and uh, we will use uh, um, some uh, solvents like acetone okay so when we use sodium sodium compounds we'll use uh, acetone okay mm, yeah so this is finkelstein reaction this is a second name reactions apart from sanme reaction which is for preparation of alkyl iodides okay for alkyl fluorides we have one more method for example we want to prepare alkyl fluorides we can take some metallic fluorides like uh, silver fluorides okay or uh, cobalt fluoride or mercuric fluoride okay as a result this is like also allergen exchange reaction okay so we'll get alkyl fluoride okay so this is also a name reaction or swartz reaction so we have done uh, uh, sanmeyer Finkelstein and now squats all for the preparation of alkyl halides. Okay, so these are the preparatory methods. Uh, um, uh, this is the end of uh, part one. Thank you.